how to configure configuration change notification and logging. So this is a document that I found from cisco.com again. And of course, this is the, these are the summary steps and these are the detailed steps. So yeah, I have a, some notes here. Uh, the configuration change notification and lagging feature added in Cisco IOS software release 12.314 later makes it possible to lag the configuration changes made to a Cisco IOS device. The log is maintained on the Cisco IOS device and contains the user information of the individual who made the change. The configuration command entered and the time that, were, that the change was made. This functionality is enabled with the uh, log enable configuration change logger configuration mode command. So that would be the, the logging enable. That's a mouthful, but uh, <clears throat> this here is actually referring to this command. So enables the logging of configuration changes. So that's easier to understand. So, so you go into the global configuration mode and then you enter the archive configuration mode and then you enter the change logger configuration mode and then you enable uh, the lagging of configuration changes. And this here is just to specify the number of entries retained in the configuration log. And hide keys is basically suppresses the display of password information in the configuration log files. And this here, this is how you send the notification, uh, notifications of configuration changes to a remote syslog. And of course, this is the commands that, show commands that you can use for this particular feature. So let me go ahead and uh, do this on switch one. So I'm going to switch one just Go into enable mode and then configuration mode, archive, then go to config uh, mode. Yeah, config mode, archive config mode, uh, configuration ch change logger mode or config change logger configuration mode. And then <clears throat> this is how you enable it. And you can also specify the number of entries. In this case, I'm, I'm just making it, setting it to 100. And time period is looks like there's no time period, so that is fine. I'm just going to do so. Hide the keys, and notify the syslog, which in our case I already configured this uh, from. Uh, earlier, so I can just double check that. So this is our syslog server. This is just an example, of course. And that's it. So you can just double check your config. 
Yeah. So archive log config logging enable uh, content type plain text. Okay. I did not specify this, but uh, iOS automatically <clears throat> uh, selected this particular uh, option. So I just said notify syslog, so I think this would be this would just be plain text. So yeah, high keys and I will just say that And let me also do this command here. Archive. So in this particular version, uh, we don't have a an option to specify the time period. Uh, I think this is not con this is not uh, being configured here. Basically, actually. And we don't have that in this example. So yeah, we can remove that uh, option. <clears throat> so double checking lagging size 100. Notify syslog already configured and high keys. Yes, so now I can do this command just to verify it. And yeah, so we have this. Just, uh, yeah, we have this, uh, they call it tabular format. So logged command and the user and line. So this is the username and the line that the user or the person uh, did the configuration, I mean the, uh, the command. And also we can do this. So yeah, and this here, we don't have an option to specify the number. But in our example, we do have that. Uh, or, sorry, I'm actually wrong. It should be that. So one and two. So you can basically uh, just. Uh, You know, uh, be specific. I mean, you can specify which lines you want to see. So in this case, I just want to see, you know, uh, index one and index two. So let me just yeah, it's actually correct. Show archive log config. Yeah, that's correct. And let me try four. Yeah, that's working as well. And this here, this is basically another option that you can do. So use this command to display all configuration log files as they would appear in a configuration file rather, rather than in tabular format. So yeah, we can do that. So in this particular so we just configured, <clears throat> uh, I mean, we just made these changes. So that's why we have uh, this change. This display also shows the commands used to, con to change configuration modes which are required to correctly apply the log commands. Shows the commands used to change. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. This is 
which are required to correctly apply the log command. Okay. And the last one is this, or this here. This command to display, use this command to display memory usage information uh, for the configuration. So now it is 3914 bytes memory being held. And this here, total memory allocated for session tracker tracking. And uh, also this you can see. And other things which I will not uh, discuss. Um, yeah, I think this is pretty much self explanatory. So that's fine. All right, yeah, that's how you can configure configuration, change notification, and logging.